Hello everyone, welcome to Canteen Cup. My name is Scott, and uh, just another uh, in the series of some ham radio stuff. Uh, today, I'm gonna briefly talk about some portable antennas, uh, an antenna that's been around a long time and makes a good antenna by itself, but you can also springboard and make other antennas with it, and that is the buddy pole. Um, I've had a buddy pole probably for over 10 years now, maybe longer. Um, but they're a great antenna. They're they're fairly easy to use. Their setup instructions are pretty good. Uh, however, sometimes when it comes to tweaking, you're not really sure. And so, first of all, here's what a buddy pole antenna looks like. And that's with the, um, this is the standard buddy pole kit with the, um, antenna arms extended all the way out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how um, I, I'm going to tweak it and how to get it better and I have a new item I want to show you which is one of the reasons why I'm shooting this in the past um, I've, I've used an MFJ model 269 antenna analyzer and it's big it's bulky it takes lots of batteries the on and off switch is not safe in other words if you put it in a kit with some other stuff that uh, power button is easy to turn on and off and many times I've pulled it out and the batteries are dead uh, I mean it's a good analyzer I've had this for a long time however it does have its shortfalls it is like I said bulky and heavy so, in my search for an alternate antenna analyzer, I came across this. And it is a Nano VNA, it's a vector network analyzer. And with just a little bit of uh, flipping it around and playing with the configuration, you can turn it into an antenna analyzer, at least to measure SWR. It'll do more, but really for what I want for is to measure SWR. It is small. You can see it fits in the, it, uh, fits in the palm of my hand. It's thin. It has a built-in rechargeable battery that whatever you use to recharge your phone battery with, you can also use it to recharge this. It's got, I think, a 400 milliamp hour battery. It's enough to run it for about two hours. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to beat. It takes a USB-C connector, which are all over the place. I mean, you can plug it into your phone charger. You can plug it into your laptop, your desktop whatever and it recharges like in like, like less than 30 minutes so uh the size and the weight and the compactness uh really what what, what has driven me towards it and, and what i wanted to show and the handwriting is little itty bitty but right now it's showing an swr of about uh 1 to 1 to 13.6 so this antenna needs to be tuned the only thing i did to it is i added a piece of string so i can hook it on my versity and let it sit here while i tune it and you have to buy an sma to uh pl259 sl um so239 adapter and then for the buddy pole since they use bnc connector you have to buy a a 259 to BNC, um, another 10 bucks. When I was looking at other analyzers, everybody wanted from about 180 to almost $300 for a small one. I got this one, I think, off of eBay for, no, I think I got it off of Amazon Prime for about 50 bucks. And it pretty much does everything I want it to do. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and tune this antenna. Yes, I understand that the cable's all wrapped up and that under normal circumstances, I would lay the cable out and then I would, 
you know, bring it back and hook it back up. But this is just a demonstration. I, I, I'm not hooking up my radios at this, at this time. I just want to show you this little analyzer and how cool I really think it is. It is going to replace my, um, my MFJ analyzer, at least for the field. So stand by a second. I'm going to put my camera on a, a head strap so I can use both hands to just show you how to tune, how I'm going to tune this antenna. All right, so I'm back. I really can't see the camera. It's above my, my eyeballs, but hopefully you can capture this stuff. We're going to look at my analyzer. Right now it's saying it's about 14 to 1 on the SWR. Um, you can look at the the screen and see there's a little hump there, but the bad thing about this thing is everything is teeny tiny. So I've got, looking over here, I've got these set uh, pretty much in accordance with the way Buddy Pole says to set them. And so now really to make the final adjustments, I'm going to pull in each antenna arm the telescoping antenna, I'm going to pull it in until I get the best SWR. Two point five, that's enough for antenna tuners. Okay, I got it down to two point one six to one. You know, if I if I fooled with this some more. I can get it down. I think I, I play with this a little bit in the house. I got it down to like 1.4 to 1. And it's just a matter of tweaking enough. But just to show you that this, this can do it. And I can, like I said, I can get it down to a little less. I may have to adjust the, um, the windings a little bit. You know, when you talk about... You know, these little tweaks, not only not only how you tweak it, but it's where you tweak it on the antenna causes different things. So right now I'm down to about two, and I'm sure if I stretched out this cable, the, the coax cable, it would bring it down some more. But at less than two to one, or about two to one, I can use this with an antenna, you know, with a radio, especially if it has a built-in tuner because it's below three to one and it'll give me a good signal. So now that we have uh, about two and a half to one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it against my MFJ analyzer and see how close they are. Like I said, this is an old workhorse. I've had this thing for a long time. But it's batteries. The battery issue in this on and off switch, I guess I could, you know, put in a a single pole, single thrower switch. And so it shows at about the same frequency that I had that set to. It's showing about two and a half to one. That's about two and a half to one. And so that being said, um, that little $50 network analyzer, and, and that thing does a whole bunch more. But uh, it really is, a, it really is, a, you know, for $50. And you can buy them, you can find them cheaper. I just picked the one because it was Amazon Prime. And uh, I got it in two days. I could have got a little cheaper if I wanted to wait a little longer. So... There you have it. I'm going to back up a little bit. Um, one thing I want to say about this is that the Buddy Pole system, as you're looking at it, is a really great antenna for pretty much 20, maybe maybe 40 meters, but basically 20 meters and above. And that means a lower number, you know, 20, um, 17, 12, 10 six and two it's a good antenna because it's, you're either a half wave or a full weight depending on which band you're on and it does a good job however when you're talking about for 
an emergency or emergency communications point of view, 20 meters isn't your best bet. And that's mainly because 20 meters is a long haul type band. Um, a good example is the Hurricane Watch Net that's sponsored by um, NOAA and the Hur National Hurricane Center down in Coral Gables, Florida. They use 20 meters for their hurricane watch net. However, the one thing that most people don't realize is while they are taking information from people in Florida, the net control stations are out in Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Oregon, you know, several hundred to several thousand miles away because that's what the band does. It doesn't go next door. It goes hundreds of miles away, which is a benefit for the Hurricane Watch Net because the net control stations are out of imminent danger. However, when we talk about emergency communications, especially in our local groups, where we want to communicate from group to group that may only be, you know, 10, 15, 20, 50, maybe 100 miles away, this is not a good ban. And so maybe in the future, I'll show you some things you can do with the buddy pole to make it more conducive for long, for short haul operations, uh, NVIS, near vertical incident sky wave and ground wave where you can get on the lower bands of uh, more 40 and 80, maybe even 160 and be able to communicate locally with your groups. So I just want to show you this little thing. It's called a Nano VNA, and you can find them. Just, just Google them. They're on eBay. They're on Amazon. They're all over the place. They're anywhere from like $30, $35 to $75. Like I said, I paid about $50 for mine. Um, it doesn't come with instructions, but there's websites on there, and you just have to play with it. The more I play with it, the more comfortable I become with it. Um, it is a little squirrely, but in general, for doing something like this, for just checking your SWR, yeah, 50 bucks compared to 200, it just can't be beat. So that's all I got for this video. Y'all stay safe and stay secure, and we'll see you out there.